Hi, I'm Mary Jurgensen, Community Engagement Manager with Gary and Mary West Pace. West Pace is a program of all-inclusive care for the elderly, providing comprehensive primary and social services to seniors 55 and older living at home in the community, including transportation, primary care, and social engagement activities. We recognize that it's important for participants to retain the skills needed to complete everyday activities, as well as to continue to enjoy purposeful activities. Today, I've invited Allie Armstrong, an occupational therapist with West Pace, to join us and tell us a little bit more about occupational therapy and the role she plays while she works with participants here at our center. Hi, Allie, welcome. Thanks so much for joining us today. For having me. So Allie, before we get started, can you tell me a little bit more about what made you decide to become an occupational therapist? So I was first introduced to occupational therapy in 2010 after I sustained a spinal cord injury, which led me paralyzed from the waist down and requiring a wheelchair. I worked really closely with my OT and she helped me get back to being completely independent um, despite something some would say so tragic happening to me and how to kind of adapt to my new lifestyle. And it was very rewarding, our, our relationship. And I just saw how much of a mark she left on my life. And I kind of wanted to give that back to other individuals in the community. That's a really great story. Thanks. What would be some of the activities you might have a client participate in when coming to see you at West Pace? So I work really hard in trying to see where they're at and what they are struggling with or what goals they have. And kind of based off of that, I assess them and kind of look at what skills they're lacking in completing that task, whether it's a dressing task, gardening. Um, I see, is it a balance deficit that they're having, a strength deficit? Is it something that the environment um, needs to be adapted with and kind of work on those skills, improving their balance, strength, fine motor coordination, or going into the environment and adapting it whether you're adding home modifications or providing them with um, a piece of adaptive equipment. And I bet they really enjoyed the fact that you can focus on them one at a time rather than in a huge group setting. Yes. <laughs> Could you tell me a little bit more about what might indicate to you or someone else on the team that occupational therapy might be needed for someone in the PACE program? I would say uh, you can need an occupational therapist when you find yourself having more trouble doing things that are meaningful to you, as well as other ADLs, which are your activities of daily living, such as dressing, bathing, toileting, eating, um, but anything that's important to you, if you're noticing a harder time, as I said, increased falls in the home, balance problems, strength issues, I think that's all a great time to go um, discuss with an occupational therapist your concerns and goals that you have. And I'm sure part of, or I would think part of the fun part of your job is being able to see the small improvements that make a difference for so many when they yes. work with you. Yes. <laughs> what would an assessment look like if someone was coming to see you for the first time? So they are able to come into our beautiful center. I, I again, ask them, what are you having trouble? What are your main goals? And really try to keep it participant centered. Then I kind of complete an assessment so I can see, hey, I want to see how you're doing these things and where I could help you and what skills we need to improve on. I also if ask them about their home environment. Do you feel safe in the bathroom, the kitchen? Are you able to enter and exit your house safely? Um, and kind of get information from, from them as well as sometimes going out and completing a home assessment and getting information from that as well too. Thanks for sharing a little, because I know some might be a little nervous the first time coming in the door and not knowing what to expect. Yeah. <laughs> Is there anything else you might want to share with um, either a caregiver or a participant who might be considering PACE as uh, a means for them to live independently at home? I think what makes PACE such a great thing is that we're kind of everything under one roof. Caregivers are always welcome in our therapy gym to come with the participant and kind of go through the assessment process with the participant as well. And that's kind of where a great aspect where we can also some offer some education, whether if it's a transfer technique or say, hey, we, we work with this great company that would be able to go out to your home in the bathroom and modify it and kind of give them really quick tricks to maybe improve 
sit to stand transfers or ADLs. Hey, did you ever try it this way? Or did you hear of a sock aid? And I think that's really good because you kind of build that rapport with the participant as well as the family. And it, again, it's making that relationship a lot stronger and putting kind of a face to a role and the trust builds a lot faster that way, which I think is great. <laughs> Well, thank you, Allie. I appreciate you joining us today. And, and you're a lot of the reason why so many of our participants come, enjoy coming into the center and I think do get so many benefits from the program. So with that, um, I'd like to thank you all for joining us today. I encourage you to uh, reach out and give us, our center a call at 760-280-2230. Or visit our website at www.westpace.org. If you have any more questions about the PACE program, would like to come visit us and see the center, or are wondering if it might be something that would help you as a caregiver caring for a loved one in your home or in the community. So until next time, Allie and I wish you all um, safe health. Um, stay informed and hope you have a great day. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs>